Hello and welcome to Cassette Beasts with myself and I can't actually remember what we did last time. I think, I think we did quite a lot of stuff because we did the uh, noticing I've got Felix with me. Uh, I think we did maybe his first part, first heart or like halfway through his first heart. We did stuff to Cat Girl. Maybe stuff with the yeah, there's the wooden guy wasn't there as well that we uh, let him paint. Let's uh, check the party to make sure health is all good. It's not great. I might go do a quick rest. Stop. Without falling into the water. Uh, well, with falling into the water, apparently. Uh, little quest over here. I found a neat thing during my swim in the lake. Some kind of altar between two pillars in an island. Cool, bro. Altar. First in the lake. Well, these, those are the altars. We, I think we had a thing, didn't we? Where there was a... The cat girl was gonna go and find these altars so maybe that's something that can link in with uh, Felix's quest. My sister in the Mournchild's organisation said she saw a half angel half demon ninja cat girl near their town but it might have just been a, the mouldy bread that she ate. Okay so that's also related to the altar. Got these rumours so I guess the rooms aren't really quests, are they? They're just like little hints towards things on the map, which is cool. Let's take a quick break. Might be some five stars as well. I don't know if I, don't know if I remember where we were up to in terms of that. I think. Oh, we we switched our party around, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. So nothing like that. Another rumor. Hello. Oh. Have you heard about the mysterious altar deep in Eastern Woods? The rumours are that a demon performs occult rituals there in the dead of night. Some say it's an angel, others say it's a cat girl. Okay, more people are talking about these altars. Uh, in terms of uh, the actual quest we have with Felix, find the four elemental altars. Yeah, so let's, let's do it. Go find that altar. Map. First in Lake, right? I guess it's kind of already rooted up to it, isn't it? So, let's get off. Strong current here, Let's see what happens. Okay, no route up that way, I will continue north. Ah, here we are. The altar. Interesting. Guess the uh, thing here is to get them all to turn the right way. There we go. I'll talk to you in a second, mate. No, oh, well, never mind. I guess these altars really are real, not figures. Kuniko! Kuniko! I must prove my strength, creator. By my pointy blade, show yourself, guardian. Come on, we should really help her out. Let's do it. Let's help her out. Okay. A scuba veil. Is that like a second evolution or is that a combo? Either way, Spitzfire should not be in uh, this fight currently. Give her a mascotty switch, maybe? No, it's Kimiko's level 35, it's quite good. Uh, go for a. Hmm. Might be worth going for a. Actually, they're all two stars anyway, aren't they? So, I might as well just be going for double snacks. That should help me out. Uh, I feel like 
a lot of damage there. He's now conduct conductive there. And plastic knife. Let's go for it. And let's hope he doesn't get for the same thing again. <laughs> Plus 8% damage per empty slot. So empty slots is in sticky slots. Either way, it's technically more damage than that, unless the range is higher. So it might as well be worth going for a range and seeing if it does more. Oh, he's got for a torrent again, that's just gonna destroy us, isn't it? Gonna go take him down. Not ideal. Uh, decibel. Let's do it. And Pond Walker. And we'll go for Hurricane. Hits the last fighter to take their turn before this move. Okay, so it doesn't you can't pick which uses it just hits whoever did it. Right. Call for help, I think is our best bet. This damage is kinda crazy. We don't have a decibel here. It doesn't really have that great of a move pull beyond spit in terms of attacking moves. Sonic Boom is not ideal, really. Try to get into a Sonic Boom loop. And then I'll just give her a Undertow anyway just to get hit off. I think he might just die, though. Yeah. Felix taking the heat currently. Sonic Boom. And. Suit up, I guess. Let's try and tank a hit. Just about. Spitfire's gonna probably eat shit here as well. Um, right, I go for. Is B random like good here? No, I think Sticky Tongue's be better. And then we go Sonic Boom. Just need to get as much damage on as possible, really. Missed. That is not ideal. Spitfire lives. Which is good. We're not going to be able to take this out, are we? Might be the kind of one we're ready to bring like a specific team for it. Um, try, and, try and be random. Let's hope it gives us something good. We did not. That torrent is just so much damage, it's crazy. again. Um, is it worth actually quickly looking into our inventory for our stickers we have? Anything else here that we can use? Um, not particularly. Just 
so much damage just like getting put out. Don't know if it's worth uh, switching to it out party wise. Just for this fight. Might be worth switching out Decibel for uh Actually Decibel could tank hits so, though. Uh let's have a look. Is it worth me doing some smaller quests in the meantime before we come back to this? Maybe we can try and get Catelli up a little bit. I think I'll try and do that actually, yeah. It doesn't look like it should be a hard fight. Um, but it was, so... Maybe I just need to go about it a different way and try again. See how it goes. God, just they drowned underneath the thing. Let me in. Can I fast travel? Is the uh, question. Let's go up this way. And over here. There's a the land and a stuck in the water here. We can also help provide liquidity for your home purchase. Okay, then. A rip terror. Preemptive strike. Ow. Right, switch up. Go for a uh, death spell switch in. And a double smack. Hmm. Not a deal. Sonic boom. And double smack. Let's try again. At least it didn't use my energy. Or well, it did. Oh, never mind. I was going to say, at least it didn't use my energy, but I'm just blind. Um, double smack, nice. Conductive as well. And give them another sonic boom. And the zoomies. And hope that it takes out. Now, revenge strike. That's fast. Victory. <laughs> we landkeepers enjoy a good swim too. As long as it's not holy water, that is. We're playing into the surf. We are vampires, I'm going to. Um, right. Let's hop over here. For a sec. Have I been here? Where am I? Yeah, that's, this is the way we came. The last time. Might be worth uh, doing a quick heal, actually. Rewind. Let's use it on Decibel. And Spitfire. Yeah, might as well use it in Catelli as well. Why not? And we'll start up our party with Decibel and Catelli, I think. Just goes badly. I apologize in advance. Let's see what this says. It's no, just a coin. It's a strange gold coin issued in year 0 times 7 B3 by the state of Nevada. Let's do that again as well. Maybe just don't do that again. Hmm. I love hearing stories about the Black Swan events people experience in their home worlds. Black Swan events are majorly historical events that come by surprise and change everything. I've heard all sorts of stories. Fascist uprisings, pandemics, global war, runaway climate change, ecological microplastic catastrophes. Yeah, 
Imagine a world in which they had all those things at once. How doomed they would be. No, it's fine. A Velocity Rifle. We're in quite a good spot to take this guy on actually as well. I'll switch up to Pond Walker. Why not? Just uh, undid his boost though, which is good. Go for another two, why not? If you keep doing that, whilst I take you out, I'll be good. Oh, so that's how it works. Acorn Mortar. We're leashed. And a Terror Cooker. Let's give her a Hurricane. And a Spit, just to be on the safe side. It's good damage. Uh, not quite. My favourite Black Swan event is the Sharkman War 2023. They really should have seen that one coming. Oh, watch out for that one equally. Right. If I go close to start, the event's going to start. Um, in my invent, based on my inventory, I probably can't heal up significantly enough. Actually, well, no, yeah, Pond Walk is in a bad spot. Kind of can, but wonder if I can. Wonder if this uses it uses uh, works in the same way as uh, revive. Fixes under the lines. Okay, that's a revive respool. Okay, so we get one respool. That's our uh, opportunity with this. Let's get into Critical. it. Actually, yeah. Get a bit better here. Airwolf. Uh, I'm gonna airwolf uh, Felix and go for, go for double smacks. Oh, nice. Yeah, multi target. It's really useful, actually. Yeah, that's a strap. Three hits, three turns. If I do it again, it'll fail, right? Because I've already got up, so. Um, can I do that with Kuniko already being out? I don't know. This might be worth doing. Go for this as well. Conductive, it's quite good. Uh, right, let's get the air wall up again. And I shall go for a double smack again, I guess, because of the benefits we'll be getting from it. Yeah, I think air wall's a strat here. With the multi target, it's really, really good. I guess I'll try and do it again. 
but if not, it is what it is. Double slice, nice. Okay, yeah, it worked again. That's good. Should take conductive damage there as well. Huge. Okay, so it's, it's a fusion between these guys. Now I can give her a sonic boom and hit both. And I'll focus on school brush. See how he does in terms of damage from uh, conductiveness. Oh, Diveal also took it from the Moy attack as well. Good stuff. Victory. We're all up to four stars now, pretty much as well, which is uh, good news. We're getting close to some big kind of level ups with those guys. Thank you for your assistance, creator. But I won't need any help on the next battle. Uh, I think you will. <laughs> All right then, let's find a rest. Okay, so that's one of those down. It's quite hard. Um, I guess what's the quest log saying here? It's saying question mark, question mark, question mark, and go that way. Well, in that case, we'll go that way. We'll go to the Ranger Outpost and. Travel up that direction and see what happens. In the point of you guys, hello. Let's get a quick little uh, camping. In terms of what was on the map, it's back that way, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Can I actually go that way? I think we just established I can't, right? Unless I can, like, blast through it. I can. Eastern Woods, here we are. There's a rock on a tree. A chest. Cool. Right, let's continue through the woods. Be worth bringing that with me. Okay, so we turn on these lights, I guess. Hello there. Decartes. It's not enough to have a good tape. The main thing is to use it well. Should I start a grad? Okay. I'm pretty sure he resists everything I have here between these two guys. So, go to Masquitoy and then I'll test it with uh, this. I'm not really sure. It doesn't seem like it resists it. So I'll go for a double smoke. We eat that, which is good. And I think plastic knife is the uh, way to go with this one, isn't it? And I'll try another shot to see if it does more. About the same. Plastic knife does a good chunk of damage. AP's drain as well. It's hibernating. Let's see if we can out damage his hibernation. Give another energy shot. That seems to be 
pretty effective last time. Face down, nice. Uh, gin and tonic. That's cool. That's really cool. All those little kind of uh, hovering eyebrows and the little wobble of the uh, stick in a cocktail as well. That's cool. Let's go for a uh, plastic hammer and double smack again. I guess he's already asleep as well. He carries over. Got a knife. AP drain. And a double, double smack. Let's see how it goes. Uh, of course, so the face kind of like appears. I guess the face disappears when he's asleep. Not a head. Anyway. That was cool. I made every mistake that could be made, but I just kept pushing. Ah, you did, soldier. I think we need a uh, magnetic magnetic uh, thing for this one. We've been over here, right? Recognise us. Yeah, let's pull that over. Okay. Interesting. That was, uh, interesting. <laughs> I don't think I actually intended to do that, but it worked. Oh yeah, we're up in here, yeah. That makes sense, because I've saw that uh, shrine before and was like confused by it. Hey. By the powers of the sun and moon conveniently shining at the same time. Guardian. Reveal yourself, Guardian. <laughs> okay. Hmm. She's really getting to the role here. Bumshaw. Bushmore, not Bumshaw. <laughs> okay. So... I'm going to need to switch out uh, Kitty, first of all, here. But, get an air wall in early. And switch into Brax suit, maybe? There's never going to be a time when Brax is useful, it's here, so. Let's do it. Oh, he's quite fast. Crane to AP, which is good. Most of just want to make sure everyone's protected from like big hits and stuff. And I'll go for a spit. And a hmm. Yeah, I'll go for I'll go for this one a bit. Hurricane, uh, wait, hope just, just, just the thing is with Hurricane, does it get rid of our walls? I guess, is it worth, is it worth finding that out, <laughs> finding out how that works in this fight? I'm going to do it, and I'm going to go Deja Vu as well. Healing Leaf. Okay, so it doesn't actually get rid of our walls, which is cool. We'll go for an air wall again. I've also got one turn of uh, that up. And multi strike. I'm hoping most status. How does it work? How does it how does how does status work? Switch. Check ass. Um well, again, wait to find out is to Sonic Boom, right? Ah, so it needs to be a melee, I'm pretty sure. Or I'm just very wrong. That leech is not fun. 
because he will definitely be healing quite a lot from that. Sonic Boom, and I'll try Slice. Let's, let's do it. Okay, yeah, so it works with melee attacks. Unless it just like failed last time, but I'm pretty sure it's a melee thing. The Bushmore is like not too much of a threat, but it's like healing through here. So the residuals we're getting are very useful. Um, let's just go for it. Sonic Boom will do about the same amount as uh, Slice would anyway, so. Bossamore and Bush Eye. Go for a Sonic Boom and a Sonic Boom. Bush Eye down. Bossamore nearly down. Guessing boss more is what uh, evolves from the other guy we have that looks very similar. He was kind of trash, to be honest. Nice. That was a lot easier than the uh, water one. Creator. To battle alongside you, creator. I do not feel worthy. Oh. Honestly, it's never a big deal. Oh, she's gone. Uh, we should try and find the next shrine. The I just did, in canon, I just did this with slight like, or some like military press saying this magnet. <laughs> um, okay, so we're way over there for this one, right? Okay. Oh. I shall, in that case, go to the station over here. I need to kind of loop up to that, don't I? Can I like cheese it? I can, nice. Oh, there's also the magnet as well, nice. Um, in terms of getting to this next one, I don't think it's as doable as I think it is. First of all, I need to go up there, right? Or do I need to go f way f from way in the north? In the north. I will flee you. Goodbye. I will also flee you. Just remember to check if that fight was still there. Um, but the one where I, where I like, took my first death seems to have disappeared. I think I was just like very obviously outmatched for that one. We made it. Nice. Autumn Hill, baby. So, let's fight. Let's do it. Our faith can move mountains. Cooper, 1720. Some cultists. A Thwackalope. And a Skelevangelist. Okay. I think... Uh, Skill of Anglis is going to be 
more of a problem. But I really liked how Airwall worked in that last fight, so I'm going to do that and focus on Thwackalo for a turn. damage. Now we go for, I guess, Spit on Skill of Anglist, and a double smack on Fuckalope. Still got that more attack, so definitely benefit from it. Cool, it's one down. We eat that hit as well, which is good. Is it an air wall? I think it is, isn't it? And then I'll go for a uh, zoomies just to get like some regular attack onto it. So now we Sonic Boom and zoom it again. Nice. Making good progress here. Greater love has no one than this. What? Greater love has no one than this. To lay down one's tapes for one's friends. Dorian, 1513. Dorian is a uh, leader, right? Right. Another fight here. Sorry. <laughs> I thought she's like, just walks on that bullet guy's head. It's like, sorry. A cultist chilling out. A similar kind of. Uh, Match up here. I'll go for the turn one spit actually, and double smack the Quackalope. Okay, Quackalope down. Actually, good start. And Sonic Boom. And zoomies. Let's do it. It's good damage. Bring in a Brack suit for a Sonic Boom finisher. Well, a zoomies finisher to be fair. Uh... In all honesty, I only joined the Morn Children for the food. That would be me. That would absolutely be me. Oh, that's gonna help us. Good stuff. Ah. Clipped him. It's probably worth actually getting. If I go for a new flame, you'll see it. And I'll record with this. And use my chrome tape on the Ulsea. Recording. But you should still go up to like 100 here. Because we're basically killing it in one turn. Yeah. Nice. So, I've got the old seer. Um, or seers are mostly seen at night, hovering several meters off the ground. They get their name from their unnerving behavior, wherein they appear to silently observe passing humans with a single unblinking scarlet eye. Okay. 
And then I'll just run away from Bulletino. I've already got you. And fly over. That looks like it might be another train station, which will be useful. A ferrochrome tape. Okay. Um, where did you even go there? <laughs> Jeez. Need to find another uh, method for that. Oh, there's a sleeping person. Do I wake him up? Zed. What is that? What's that? Sleeping. No, not at all. I was uh, meditating. I'm Zed, by the way. That said, it's getting real difficult to meditate around here. What with all these bulletinos zooming around. Any chance you could uh, sort that out for me? Uh, Zed Norton Hill has asked me to take, make the surrounding area a bit quieter by defeating five bulletinos. Bulletinos can be found which most easily in Norton Hill. Yeah, sure, I could do that. Uh, I think my game plan now, though, is to just get into the main area and then end the episode. On up here. Yeah, there's the altar. I guess this is like the commune. Right, what I'll do is I'll save here. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.